Hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. This is Enigma and you're watching I Enigma. We're gonna do your March 2023 read. Let's see the messages for you. This is going to be for all Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in Virgos. Since this is a general reading, take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. For more personals and accuracy at reasonable rates, you can reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. I'll do my best to help you. And I also energize crystals uh, with high vibrations of love and healing all by myself. I curate them. So if you want crystals personalized for you from me, you can reach out to me on the same details given down below and i also do wipe your base spells for your highest good to manifest your deepest desires do subscribe to this channel for more videos on your sign logos and hit like subscribe share comment in the end Whew. what are you stuck with right now Virgos? what are you stuck with so what i'm seeing is that there's some sort of a worry that is not even a worry but it's it's there it's there lingering around you and it's somewhere I feel like those worries are keeping you stuck. It's not giving you clarity of mind. It's keeping you stuck. So that worry you're having right now is kind of making you feel um, not wanting to take another step or not wanting to do something that you always wanted to do. So there's something I feel like there's an unnecessary worry that is stopping you from getting what you want. That's how I feel. Yeah, that you you're hung up on something. What is that? Let me see. What is this worry all about? Okay. I feel like there was a person in your mind that you really wanted to take things forward with. You might have been dealing with an older person or you might be older than them. They were keeping you in the stuck situation because they were not leaving you. At the same time, they were not committing. And you, uh, at the flip side, was totally committed and expecting true relationship turning into marriage with this person. I feel like that is still has strongly left uh, an imprint on your mind which is keeping you stuck and not being able to believe in anyone new coming into your life it's time for you to right now heal that's what i'm seeing Virgos. right now you're healing yourself with the temperance and nine of pentacles i'm also seeing you're extremely cautious about the kind of people you're allowing into your life you don't want to deal with narcissism anymore and i feel like it's over the narcissism the kind of you know manipulation or trying to fight for something that's not even valuable for you anymore it's all over you're moving towards light and i feel like right now the universe wants to tell you that this is a period for you to stabilize yourself your emotions and get healed and be more careful in your approach the next time you reach for someone or someone reaches out to you you have been dealing with a pisces or a cancer they had been lately on your mind from a pretty long time and has kept you confused you're looking for answers a deep part of you is still not healed yet but what you don't see is that there is definitely a new beginning that you are ignoring or you're not fully embarking on and that new beginning comes after this full healing cycle right now you're going through this healing okay so i was thinking about what's coming in love for you so i feel like you're about to meet someone with whom you can expect a lifelong marriage relationship okay a lifelong commitment being with this person for the whole life and never looking back again okay never feeling that kind of loneliness again so it is there it is right around the corner when you will be meeting someone that deserves all your love and attention you are going to be in this lifelong relationship or even marriage if you want it requires you to take that first step. I feel like it happens when you take that first step. Slowly, you're moving towards the ultimate um, relationship, okay? So you might be seeking a connection, the kind of a connection you want in the wrong person. 
I feel it's time that you learn your lesson and move on from it because these lessons are also important. These karmic debts, you know, clearing these karmic debts also help you build yourself and know what mistakes you will never make again. Okay. Two of Swords. Right now, you cannot see anyone in your life and you feel confused. You feel like maybe I'll never get married. Maybe I'll never be with someone that I always want to be with. Maybe I'll never, you know, have a trust again with anyone. You've dealt with people that were more about lust or a short-lived connection. Okay, and you may have dealt with someone that was aggressive, violent, lying, more about, yeah, uh, let's keep it, you know, casual kind of a person. So this is a part of you has lost trust in love. And I feel like to build that again is ma is making you feel, you know, worried or difficult. It's, it's, it, it makes you feel difficult. But what you don't see coming is this major change. Your luck is changing. What is coming for you? Your luck is changing. I feel enough of this manipulation. You're coming out of this. You're not dealing with manipulative people anymore. You've decided to turn your back on them and move forward in life. I feel this happens from October onwards when you're completely shielding yourself from this past person because this past person is someone that's not completely leaving you. At least it's not, they are not leaving you mentally. Okay, maybe physically also they're on and off, they're on and off. But I feel like the complete ending happens around October. And that's when you are going to become positive and, you know, believe that something new is going to come, something better is going to come, new love is going to come. So you will become extremely positive. Three of Wands is talking to me about exploring the new you have new opportunities and love coming in don't stop yourselves i feel there's a new job opportunity that makes you financially independent and satisfied and content i feel you are there's some sort of a unexpected income that i can see for you you'll feel more attractive than ever before Virgos. My gosh, your attractiveness level is increasing. This is a change that I'm talking about. There's a massive change in your personality, Virgos. There's a lot of change in your personality. I can see you becoming extremely attractive. You're going to attract a lot of people. And I'm seeing a lot of suitors wanting your attention and love right now. <clears throat> you're fire. You're like fire. So there's something about you that's very, very magnetic and attractive and you are attracting a lot of people towards you so there won't be a hard time for you to find your true love because you're attracting a lot of people magnetically energetically because you uplifted your own energy eight of pentacles i feel like there's a meeting online like this person's going to send you a message oh for some of you this could be someone from your workplace as well and the bottom of the deck is talking about Ace of Cups. So yes, there is a new love. This this person is your soulmate. I feel like after intense dating or... There's someone specific that's going to get extremely attracted towards you. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They will find you either on social media or in your job. Something that's related to your work. Okay. I feel when this person looks at you, they'll start to search you on social media and everywhere else, trying to get to know about your past, about your life, because they're interested in you. This is someone that want to settle down the moment they see you, because you will attract this person like a magnet. And then there is a new beginning. There's an Ace of Cups energy. Then we have the Knight of Cups okay knight of cups is like there's a proposal coming in let's get together let's be friends and when they become your friend they'll start to act possessive and send you messages that will mean more more than friends and you will understand that this person wants more than friendship two of cups that's how you guys will be in a relationship 
<clears throat> what this person really likes about you is your strength and confidence, how you carry yourself, how you're so calm in such a situation. I feel like you've dealt with a lot lately, maybe with the Scorpio, you uh, putting your, you know, um, connection to an end. Okay, and it has been a difficult phase for you. And now the universe is showing you another opportunity, another love. And with this, you will be falling in love with this new person. There is an effort required from your side. I'll be giving you an advice. You really need to make efforts, okay, in order to come out of this pit. If you have already, congratulations. But for most of you, I feel like you're, you guys are still you know, making efforts to come out of it. So I'm seeing, yeah, struggle is a part of life and it has been or it is difficult for you to get rid of the past energy. It's taking time. You, you're you finding it difficult to completely shut the door on someone. It breaks your heart. You still want to give it another shot. You still want to try. But this person doesn't deserve you, to be honest. You have options coming for you so who is this person coming for my beautiful Virgos oh yeah this is someone from your office or from the same profession that's how you meet this person some of you this person is into police into um, maybe some sort of a service they do social service or they could be into military, they could be a lawyer, or they have a high authoritative job. They work for the government. They are an official person. Okay. I feel like this person is too much about work. All the time, this person is just, you know, working and working and working. But this person has got good money. They've got good money. Even you are raising your vibration. You're becoming successful. You're becoming rich. Okay. Some of you, this person could be into your neighborhood and you have never seen this person before and suddenly they pop up at your place. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like one of you is in, in their comfort zone. If you're the one that's staying at your home a lot, you need to change that or this person needs to change their usual routine of being a, a workaholic. Some of you is working from home or this person is. If it's not you, then this person is working from home most of the time. Okay. You speak to me through music. I feel like you guys are going to sh uh, share the similar taste in music. And this person is going to love the kind of music you love. And they'd love to listen to things that you like. I'm becoming a better person. You will change this person to become a better person. You have a major impact on this person's life. They will change. A lot in their life is changing because of you. And that is why they're extremely grateful for having you in their life. The energy between you guys is so strong. Even when you guys are not together, this person misses you a lot. Virgo, please. Make the effort. Honeymoon. So as I was telling you... I'd be giving you an advice that a part of you is just too lazy as an imprisonment thing. You know that you have someone around you, but you don't want to take that first step or an initiative, you know, to learn about new people, to meet new people, to go out of your comfort zone and do something else so that you can meet new people. Because I am definitely seeing there's a dating period that's starting real soon. And this person, when you guys date, it's going to be so intense that you will know that this is the one I want to spend my rest of my life with. Tell me more. Oops. Oops. I'll take this one. Time. So don't try too hard because anything that has to happen has to happen. And we cannot, you know, change things or... All we can do is just prepare ourselves to be at our best when the right time comes. So don't try too hard. Just chill. Do your own thing. You have your person coming around. Enjoy your extraordinary unique. There's something about you that's different. And I feel like you need to understand what that is and bring that out on the table. And you will definitely see a short shot success. Okay, so when you bring that uniqueness, your quality that's different from others, okay, that are just at the same position as you are, 
that will make you unique that will make your work stand out so it's time for you to stand out in the crowd okay what are the challenges you might be facing because of which you're having hard time of finding love right now the universe wants to focus on your career because you are definitely becoming abundant real soon you will be making good impact in your society through your work and i'm also seeing money coming in but first let go of something that still doesn't serve you you're still not letting go a part of you is still stuck somewhere there okay most of us we we watch these readings to come out of the past because this is also a source of energy healing when someone gives you an advice and a positive approach chaos and conflict you're in you're in conflict with your own self you're not ready to accept the fact that there's someone that's not treating you right and is breadcrumbing you and it's time for you to release this person some of you know this and already in a big fight with this person it's time that you you do things for yourself you've done enough for others you've done enough for this person it's time that you stand up for yourself the ones who stand up for themselves are more attractive than the ones that you know that are like acting submissive you may need a rhodochrome side and a tourmaline okay because if you're feeling stressed then virgos i would suggest you get a tourmaline and if you're feeling like you're you're not loving yourself enough that you must and you need to heal yourself emotionally you can get a rhodochrome okay an energized one i have so i feel these are some messages other than that vocals please oh my gosh the cards are keeping i keep falling okay so angel of love so definitely having love around and there's someone that's going to pour all of their heart to you and tell you how beautiful and wonderful you are as a person you will be so happy your heart is going to you know jump with joy when you have this person around they will love you fully and deeply okay there's no looking back luck is on your side so whatever you're focusing on is focusing on you so you will end up meeting that okay bring love into the this so there's definitely love coming into your life but spread love what you can do right now is to spread love okay you can do your part by loving first loving others and you will see how it comes back to you because love is also an energy and it will come to you if you give out the same what else Some of you, there's a Sagittarius or an Aquarius around. Drum. It's time for you to understand your inner voice and move with the beat of your own rhythm. Okay, it's time that you listen to your heart and do what makes you feel right and not others feel right. It should start from you. It should start from your personal um, satisfaction, personal happiness. That's very important, guys. Okay. Hmm. All right. Who is this person that's coming towards my world? What does what do they do? First of all, it's time for you to be this person. Let go, forgive, move on. When you are forgiving and moving on from things that don't serve you and not fixated on it, trying to fix it, you will feel a sense of freedom like never before. When you're at this energy you're open to receive and you're becoming more loving oracle got some of your readers here and i feel like this some of you been getting readings um uh, general readings that are motivational and helping you become a stronger person and be able to release so somehow these cards are having a strong impact on you in a positive way and helping you let go and free yourself maybe you have a really good oracle teacher around you that's guiding you right that's telling you that this is not valuable don't do it you know so you're under a good um guidance spiritual guidance from someone whoever is your favorite teacher maybe through spirit maybe through personal readings maybe through channel readings or any other spiritual coach choose a new life for some of you you guys are thinking of becoming one I feel that's going to be good if you are already thinking of becoming one. Now, I'm definitely seeing 
the spiritual guidance is helping you move on and think things in a different way and in a more, more broader perspective. Now, let's see what are the signs that are coming in for you. We have Aquarius. We have Pisces. And then we have Gemini. These are some signs that are coming across. And I am going to be doing from Aries to Pisces. What does your person feel and think of you in this month of March? How will their action be? Feelings be. Aries is trying too hard. And I feel like because of this, it's pushing you away instead. Or you can take it as vice versa situation. The Taurus is attracted to you, but they feel like you are not open. You are too closed off. And that is what is making them push away. Gemini. Gemini is all about, oh my gosh, I want to date them. They're mine. You know, this person is fully smitten by you. Okay, let me check Cancer. Cancer, please. Cancer, oh my gosh. Cancer is so attracted to you like a magnet. And this person cannot stop themselves from wanting to date you they'll be reaching out we have leo leo sees you as their soulmate they feel a strong connection and they don't know why they'll be telling you that you guys will go out on a date virgo virgo is like they think that you're the fittest match for them and they'd want to be with you because you understand them libra libra wants to work things out they want mutual give and take scorpio Scorpio is hung up. Maybe there's something from the past that's still they're not letting go of. Sagittarius. Sagittarius is ending this because they think they're not perfect for you or you've left this person. Capricorn is, I feel like the Capricorn is more about I'm the best and they always act superior in front of you and make you feel like you're not good enough. Aquarius is uh, doing poetry for you. I feel this person wants to send you a be beautiful love message. And this person has a crush on you. And we have Pisces. Pisces is afraid of approaching because they don't see themselves as as good enough for you. Because they feel insecure. that they, They're not good enough as you are. So they have a lot of insecurities. I can sense that. getting this that you're being guided spiritually you have a strong guide around you or you're yourself a teacher and that you're meant to be traveling is going to be extremely refreshing for you you might be going out to another country taking up a flight to another city or continent someone's name is wiki <clears throat> vanessa <clears throat> oh my god we need in your name I feel like you're going for a higher study somewhere else and that's going to be really fruitful and you it will help you move on move on from something someone's from New Zealand <clears throat> something happened to my throat suddenly I feel someone has a husky voice yeah someone has a husky voice it's either you or your person that's interested someone's name is nice Winnie, I'm also seeing someone's working for Nivea. Yeah, if if you're a male or you're dealing with one, they have a long mustache and they feel extremely masculine and it's very protective of you. Someone's from India. Indonesia is also what I'm getting. Vietnam, Venice, Canada. America. Yeah. I feel any one country from the UAE side is also what I'm seeing. 
so that's pretty much it i hope this reading resonated do not forget to like subscribe share and comment and let me know how this resonated do raise the vibration of this read by your um contribution i'll see you again bye